What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are back out on the Tali today. Not as gorgeous of a day as last time, but come on now, look at this. It's nice enough out here. So anyway, if you recall last time, we were working on getting water in our tanks, which we did. We had pressure, everything's good. Except we have realized that this water tank down here is leaking. Um, it is now just about empty. Our, it's been draining into this bilge, but fortunately our float switch works. So it's been pumping it out. So today our job is going to be to remove this bunk pull the tank up see where it's leaking i'm pretty sure it's leaking from the fittings down there so we gotta see what we can do to fix that and then also we uh work on the bathrooms we got some paint on them first coat done came out nice looking good just used regular top side paint in here we already had it on hand so that's what we're working on today Got jellyfish gym. Yeah. You know. We're getting this tolly in shape. All right, hold on. We just found something out. Go ahead, tell me that story, Jimmy. Yeah. So I was sitting in here in the V berth, just kind of chilling after a day of working, <laughs> and a uh, bat came in. It's flying over my head. Yeah. I only screamed once, but uh, I took care of that guy. I opened up the windows and the doors, and I shoot him out with a pillow. But I think we found his friends, you guys. Yeah, look what we just found floating in the bilge. It looks like breakfast to me. Oh, it looks like a little baby bat. Yep. Oh, yeah. Definitely a bat. <laughs> Poor guy. He just wanted to go for a boat ride. He definitely got a boat ride. <laughs> uh, it looks like he's been in there for long, though. No, this is the, definitely the strangest thing I've ever found in a bilge. <laughs> oh, that's pretty crazy. Man, I wish he was alive. I would have made him my, my pet. Yeah, well, yeah. how he got down there. Yeah, you found him just floating right there. So, then it makes me wonder if you had one, and this little guy, is this a baby? How many of them are there? They're yeah. about that size. I mean, this boat has been sitting at this guy's dock for two years. No, nothing. Yeah, they, they got to be underneath. Great. Oh well. <laughs> oh, it keeps getting better and better. All right. All right, Barry, let's see. Here, Here we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drop a flag later. All right, so we got the cushion up. And you can see here, here's the, the water tank, our exhaust. Uh, so it's got these straps on it. We're going to see if these tin snips will cut. The uh, inlet pipe is right here which goes under the tank down there. So we need to get underneath it and see what's going on. All right, here we go. Yeah. Cutting the ribbon. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> ah, don't make fun of me, guys. I'm stronger yeah. than I look. <laughs> well, we got one cut out of it. <laughs> I blame the snips. Probably, yeah, they're dull now after the one cut. These are Dustin snips, right? <laughs> no, they're mine. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Oh, get in there. Yeah, yeah. There yeah, is. look at that. There it is. All right. So I found a few little, there's a vent hose, has a crack in it there. There's our fill. And down there in that hole is where we can see the outlet. So we got to get this tank up and over. I think we're starting off with a stripped screw. Sure we are. Oh yeah, that's major stripped. Great. Okay. <laughs> Board breaking so time. That one's stripped over there. This one's stripped over here. Those, oh, those are both stripped. <laughs> those are Jeez. both stripped out. Holy. All right, kung fu board breaking. Here Holy we go. Holy shit, man! You guys. Nah, I don't want to do this. 
This is always the fun part of coming onto a boat when you're doing projects is seeing all the other horrible stuff that people before you have done to make it more challenging for you to now fix, such as stripped heads on screws. Yeah. Huh. There we go. Easy peasy. Now we can get these out. Vice grips and screw them. Now let's get a real look at this thing. So, uh, starboard water tank. All right, so here's where we're at now. We've got that cut loose. We found where it's leaking. So these two tanks come together down here. And you can see down there where the two hoses come in. You go to that one union. You can actually see it dripping right there. So that's our leak. And then that is the output that goes around here under that stringer and then forward. And that is our actual water inlet. So what we're going to do is get rid of this port tank since it's part of our plan anyway. And then we're going to recut all that crap out and just wire, not wire, but plumb the starboard tank to this inlet. Yep. So it looks like an easy fix. Eh, yeah. All yeah. we got to do is pull off all that. All we didn't those. have this big fucking generator in the way. <laughs> Let's see how many times I can hit my head too. <laughs> all right. So. Yeah. So we're going to cut this down here and get this tank out. We got another tank oh, underneath yeah. that bed. Yeah. So the other water tank is down under there so that one's the same as that so now we've got to pull this out put that one back down move all of this stuff over there relatively easy fix but... yeah. and meanwhile we're also working on getting the rest of the paint done in the heads so and also working on wiring over here we're gonna pull this up. bed out right yeah and then we're gonna put chairs and we're going to put a desk here. Yeah, we'll still have to frame in that exhaust, so we'll have a little bit Custom. of a lift there. Yep. Um, that cabinet that we pull out over there, we might be able to fit in here next to this. And then just have this regular flooring oh, and like one nice chair there in the corner. Well, it'll be so much something. more leg room to kind of spread yeah. out. And then we'll have a bigger custom bed. Yeah, our plan is to bring this bed out to about here to where it runs down and comes right up next to that those ladders so that'll give a larger master bed there more room here so this will be more of a, a better master suite what do you think yeah i yeah. think it's gonna look good get rid of the yellow carpet new treatment on the windows yeah we're getting there we're getting there all right here Before we go we know let's, it, we'll be ready to go. <laughs> let's get this bitch out of here all right Decided to go ahead and dismantle this bed. I mean, we're already we're already right here, right? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna take this all apart because we do have our floor tile coming in. Um, so we can go ahead and lay the tile all the way to where we're gonna build a little bench. And then we just realized instead of doing like a chair and stuff, maybe just uh, L bench right here. A little couch. Yeah. Actually, maybe a little bit if we bring it out to here it would be a little bit of storage underneath all right, we'll see. All right so jimmy's gonna take this thing apart and i'll get back to taping up the heads what's that pile look like oh yeah so 
We had two. Oh, there. Come back here. There they are. So these are the two tiles we were looking at. They're the vinyl sticky tile. I want to see how that works, you know, since we have these planks down here. I was my our thought is that we just lay the tile and then we can come make nice clean straight cut. That's the plan. Our, our original end goal is going for all of this dark wood in here to be painted white. I know what a lot of you guys are saying, oh you're gonna ruin all that nice dark wood and it does it looks good but if you guys have ever seen any of these boats where they have painted all the dark wood white get some nice tile backsplash back here you know then when we get our stainless fridge and stove it just really will make this thing look much more modern uh, i don't know if you guys follow tula's endless summer they have last year bought an old uh i think is a 43 or a 50 foot defever and they completely redid it and the inside of their galley that was all this dark wood that was painted white it just looked fantastic so our end goal is to have all this dark wood painted white so we are going with this gray which will be down here on the floor i think it'll look good it might look a little weird with the dark wood and yellow counter top now but our end goal i think it'll look fantastic so this is what we decided to go with right now all right so here's where we're at so just put a second coat of paint in the v-birth head no it's hard to see not much light oh here we go watch oh yeah that works much better and got the second coat of paint in the aft head a little bit lighter in here so it's and then we went ahead and removed that bed framing stuff here pushed that all over we got this bunk up so we've got our raw water tank in place this now we have broke loose so we're going to get new hose all new fittings so this will be our water tank that we're using this will now be gone and we'll go ahead and push this all the way back and frame in that exhaust and that's where we're at today yeah didn't get too much done but we're only out here for a few hours <laughs> 